let's imagine launching a satellite. The countdown to launch has reached T minus 1 seconds and spirits are at an all time high. Everyone on the team is excited, data is flowing into the command center and is being monitored. The launch is successful and the satellite just entered lower earth orbit when all of a sudden communications have been lost. The satellite has collided with space debris. After the space race, the rate at which we launched objects into space increased dramatically. Everything regarding the launch of the satellites had been thought of, however we didn't have any plans for when the satellites go out of commission. This has left us with a difficult problem to deal with in the form of space debris. In 1978, NASA scientist Donald J. Kessler proposed a theoretical scenario that has been dubbed the Kessler Syndrome. Kessler theorized that if we keep launching objects into the lower Earth orbit without plans of bringing them down, that would cause the orbital space to reach a critical mass where collisions between these objects would inevitably begin to occur, which would cause a chain reaction reminiscent of nuclear fission where the number of collisions would exponentially grow. This results in the lower Earth orbit being filled with thousands of pieces of space debris that are accelerating rapidly, making the orbital space impossible to navigate or use. Needless to say, space debris is problematic for satellites, space stations, and rockets launched into space. Any object larger than 1 cm in radius can severely damage or completely destroy a satellite due to the immense kinetic energy of the accelerating object. Our application will be able to provide users with details about individual satellites. Users will also be able to group debris based upon shared characteristics. Our application will contain a machine learning model that will predict the amount of space debris in the future. Finally, our application also features the ability to mark a specific area and calculate how many objects have passed or will pass through this area within a specific time frame.